my friends, I, uh, <laughs> you know, I really enjoy talking to all of the, the fellas, young and old, that get in touch with me and ask me questions. And I can understand the confusion because, you know, if you didn't have the experience, you don't have the proclivity, it's hard to really digest and dissect everything. Now, I got an email from a young man. He wanted to know would he, could, would, he be a, would he overdose on taking vitamins or would the body get used to taking of vitamins and he had to take more and more and more? No, my friend. You see, your body gets used to nutrition and it'll get used to lack of nutrition. The only difference is the use of the use, the body's use of nutrition will build and fortify you. The body's adjustment to the lack will nullify you. In other words, you cannot overdose on nutrition. You can overdose it and we we, we you know we attribute we attribute so much um, vitamins to drugs because they're pills. And we're so pill orientated, we, we attribute vitamins to drugs. That's why all these so called tests they do, they try to use the same criteria for vitamins as they use for drugs. Drugs have all kinds of detrimental side effects, they're just targeted for the one, like anti-cholesterol drugs. All they're interested in the drug is the lower cholesterol. But they don't say what is the adverse effect of that drug, the, of lowering the cholesterol. A whole list of adverse effects. So it's obvious that is what the body wants. A number of very important nutrients lower, helps to lower the cholesterol. Red yeast rice is one of them. Um, uh, DHEA, omega-3s, another one. Niacin, another one, the B-complex. Uh, B, all of these vitamins helps to lower cholesterol and lower it naturally and health-wise. When your cholesterol is high, my friends, the body talks to you. That's the thing people don't understand. It talks to you. It tells you your cholesterol is not supposed to be high. So what you need in your diet is important to stabilize your cholesterol. And I want you to understand another thing. Cholesterol isn't poison. The body produces cholesterol. Cholesterol is essential to life. The body produces it. But you know what's funny? It gets high and they really don't really know. It gets high and then they say, Oh, we gotta lower it. Of course, it's higher than normal. And you know what normal means? More people have that don't. That's how they come to normal. If more people had cancer that didn't have cancer, the people that that don't have cancer would be abnormal. That's where go. People don't realize that. You know, they take the average. And who did, and that's what they have for the average cholesterol. You know something? One of the most important aspects of a high cholesterol. It's the homocysteine level in the body. Uh, if I can remember, it, homocysteine is nullified by B6 folic acid. And it's another of the B vitamins that, that skipped me at the moment. That's called the homocysteine level. That is always connected with high cholesterol. But they don't look at it that way. See, the medical profession look at everything as drugs. If it's not a drug, they, they don't even want to look at it. They're not orientated to look at the natural way. And the natural way is the healthy way. Do you know something, my friends? A lot of people don't realize that quite a few years ago, there was an ailment known as pernicious anemia. And you know what, the, what caused pernicious anemia? The inability of the body to absorb enough B12. They never looked at it the medical. But people were dying. They used to, when you have pernicious anemia, they just say, well, same thing to give you the last rites. And how it was discovered, only by mistake, not because they were looking for it. There was a, you know, they would test your blood and see the levels of the anemia. 
And this one fella, for some, you know, it wasn't a big food in that time. I mean, people didn't gravitate to it so much. But he liked liver. And he used to eat liver two, three times a week. And liver is very high in B12. So there was enough concentration of B12 in the liver to override the body's chemistry that, was, that wasn't absorbing it properly because it was so much. And what happened is that when the doctors would examine them, examine him, they'd find out that his levels, one time they examined him, his levels were high, pernicious anemia, and then the next time it was low. And they said, they're trying to figure, they wouldn't dream of thinking it's nutritional. That's the last thing. They ain't even nutrition. I mean, it's almost like it's a, a cancer to them. It's in the cell. So, in any case, they said, what is this guy doing that most people don't do? So they found the asked him about his diet, and he revealed that he liked liver. He liked this fried liver. He takes it three times times four. He loves it with the onions. So the, they said, well, let's see what happens. They start to, they, they incredulous to them, liver. But they started to examine and found out. They said, Is that oh, your, your diet consists of that? So oh, yeah, yeah, that's what I eat. I love it. So you know what? They discovered that the liver was so, they didn't know it was B12. They just know eating a lot of liver kept pernicious anemia, anemia from progressing. So you know, before they were able to isolate and finally look at what was in the liver, which took them ages, really, because they're very slow. Anything nutrition, they run like a thief from it. And uh, the treatment for pernicious anemia for years was three pounds of liver a week. That was the that was the treatment until they decide to find out what's in the liver that prevents pernicious anemia from getting worse, and they isolated as B12. There's no such thing as pernicious anemia. And at that time, before they isolated it and found out what it was, it was a terrible death. They didn't know what it was. You just deteriorated and died. They didn't know. But once they found out that it's from diet, which is see, it's the last thing they look at is diet. It's amazing. But don't worry about body being. Let your body become addicted to eating right and taking vitamins. You cannot overdose, my friend. Don't even, that's the last thing you can, you, vitamins are not something you, like that you take now and then. It's not like, you take it on a daily basis and you'll maximize your health. So don't worry, don't even think about your body getting used to it. Yes, your body gets used to feeling good. When you stop taking it, it don't feel good, as good as when you were taking it. That's all. That's up to you. You know, some guys take a massive array of vitamins. Some take minimum. It's all according to what you want to get out of your supplementation. If you want to maximize the body's response to vitamins, then be liberal in taking it. If you want it just enough to slide by, then you use it accordingly. But don't worry, the last thing, my friend, I want you to worry about is overdosing on vitamins. The last thing. And the B complex and the vitamin C are water soluble vitamins, my friend. That means you, the body doesn't store it. What you take today and the bees are not there tomorrow. Minerals are, and certain, and vitamin D and vitamin E, they are retained by the body for a, a, a limited amount of time. But the bees and the seas are not. So don't worry about that, my friend. Feel very comfortable in taking your vitamins. And I'll tell you, the more you take, the better. I mean, you know, within reason. I mean, you take a bottle a day and it's going to hurt you. But I mean, that uh, it's going to hurt your pocket more than anything else. Well, I hope I helped you out a little bit on that. Because I, 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 I felt a little sad because he was, he wrote this, e this email like, he was so confused, he was afraid of the vitamins. Don't be. You know what you'd be afraid of? When that doctor put out his prescription pad and started writing the prescription, that's when you should be afraid. Those are the things that kid you. And you'll never hear a case of anybody dying from taking.
too many vitamins, or you can get sick. But buddy, the graveyard is full of people overdosing on drugs or reaction on drugs. You know that, so that's what I want you to know, so don't worry about it. To be, continue.